Uh, yeah, so looking a little deeper into things, back at things that I should be familiar with, but I never analyze them critically like everybody else. So, looking at things like infinite products and partial products, I came to the obvious realization, as it was also stated for me, that things like, um, you know, 2 to the 3rd will tend to be considered to be identical to something like this. Numerically, I agree. I'm just gonna, just gonna say that. I don't disagree numerically. Two to the third, when you compute it, that is a very loud quail, by the way. Two to the third, when you compute it, is eight. I don't have a problem with that. The problem is, what about the zeroth term? Now, if I tried to put this in here, like this, all that would happen is I would get this. That's all that would happen. This notation is broken. Or it's missing something. That's not actually an index. It's called the index of multiplication, but it's not actually an index of multiplication. Because an index of multiplication can be zero, it can be negative, and it can be fractional. Here, these have to be integers. It steps by integers. It has to start at an integer. And no matter where it starts, that's your first term in you can't have a zeroth term it's not possible to have a zeroth term this is broken this is broken because that we can show clearly that there have to be you have to be able to have negative indices right because you can get this this is 1 divided by 2 all divided by 2 all divided by 2. We can have 2 to the negative 2. That's 1 divided by 2. All divided by 2. We can have 2 to the negative 1. That's 1 divided by 2. We can have 2 to the 0. That's 1. We can have 2 to the 1st. That's 1 times 2. Right? 2 squared. That's 1 times 2 times 2. This notation completely ignores all of that. Only allows this and, you know, and beyond. That goes that way, that goes that way. And we can also do fractional things, right? Like 2 to the 1 half is... Oh, that is a loud quail. Uh, 2 times the square root of 2. And if we were to... If we were to have two of those, which is what this 2 is indicating here, if we were to do that twice, we would get here. This 1 half is 1 half of this. Halfway between here and here. So there's things missing here. This notation is incomplete. I don't want to say it's wrong, like, because it works. Like, the stuff that's here works. But there's certainly something missing from it. That is a very loud coil. I'm going to stop.